Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. Okay, we are on round two of racing the benchies. We have the Mini with input shaping on the left and the MK4 with input shaping on the right. And both of these are with the Bonkers Benchies profile that Prusa has pre-sliced. So not only are they input shaping, which is faster, but with the Bonkers profile, it's even faster than that. There's a, a lot of changes to that to make them faster. Each of these Bonkers Benchy G codes have names and they say how long the print will be. So it looks like the MK4, the Mark IV, should be faster, but because it takes a little bit longer to get going, I wanted to see um, if it does actually start printing faster and overall what the, the time ends up being. And then also I wanted to see how the quality compares. Does one of them look better than the other one? And so we can kind of compare all that at the end. At about 50 seconds in, the Mark IV does start homing and doing its calibration. At about a minute 10 seconds, the Mini starts to home and do its calibration as well. Oh, and also, neither of these G-codes follow the speedboat race rules. There have been modifications. If I remember correctly, at least on the Mark IV, there is a single wall, not the, the normal amount of walls, and also the infill is at 5%. Um, so that is some things that make it a little bit faster. And if you watched my previous video, you saw that I had two different minis that had issues when I was updating the firmware. This is a third mini that we finally were able to get going. So um, still having some difficulties with that. And the other two, I ended up just rolling back to the regular firmware because I kept getting that blue, blue screen on both of them. So um, it looks like the first one is working again but the second one that had the fan error is still giving me a fan error, so I need to spend a little bit more time on that one. And then as the Mini is finishing up its calibration, the Mark IV starts the purge line and starts printing. This is at about 2 minutes and 40 seconds in. And then right at about three minutes, the mini starts to purge and then it will start printing as well. Okay, now that both of these are printing, let's go ahead and speed this up. And then right about here is when I notice another difference in these uh, G codes, the pre-sliced G codes. Uh, the Mark IV on the right has the, the benchy facing kind of, you can see the side of it, and the mini has it facing towards you, so you're gonna be looking at the front of the benchy. So I'm not sure why they did that, but just something that's a little different. The Mark IV finishes at right about 15 minutes from when I clicked print. So uh, if you take off the amount of time that it took to start printing, which was about two minutes, 40 seconds. Then we're just a little bit over 12 minutes for the Mark IV. And then at about 18 and a half minutes, the Mini finishes printing. It took three minutes for it to get to the right temperature. So we're at about 15 and a half minutes. Okay, let's check them out. So the gold one was on the Mark IV and the bronze one was on the Mini. And overall, they look pretty decent. There's not a ton of stringing. The front bow on both of them look a little funny. And I mean, overall, you can see some layer lines. I feel like the mini shows even more. On the bronze mini one along the front, there is a little bit of, I don't want to call it layer shift, but it just doesn't look as smooth as the gold one from the Mark IV. And then the first layer on the mini looks terrible. 
I did not recalibrate after flashing the new firmware and it's very noticeable on the mini. Um, I do just need to go through and adjust it. And on the gold one for the Mark IV, that one looks pretty decent. But yeah, this one, I mean, I'm honestly surprised that it didn't even pop off as bad as that is. So it's just something I need to remember as I update. Let me know what you think, and if you have already updated to the input shaping for Mini, sounds like from the previous comments, it's about 50-50 of people that liked it and didn't like it yet, but it is an alpha, I understand, so there will be improvements in the future. Thanks for watching.